In this video, we're going to go ahead and install Git on a Mac. Now, if you're not using a Mac, refer to the previous video, which shows you how to install Git on a Windows machine. And if you're on a Linux platform, go to the next video, because that shows you how to install it on Linux. But if you're looking to install on Mac, then you're in the right place. All right, so firstly, we're going to uh, show you one way that you can install Git, which we're ultimately not going to use. And that's by pressing Command Space and typing Terminal, or T-E-R-M, enough so you can actually see Terminal pop up. Press Enter, and we can actually type Git. Press Enter. And if you get it, uh, an option to come up like you can see on the screen there, that actually means that Git's already installed, and uh, most likely you don't need to do anything. But what I'm going to do anyway is go through this and show you an alternate way that you'll be using uh, for your computer. And incidentally, when you type this Git, you might get a prompt uh, to come up and sort of to ask you uh, whether you want to install Git. So you can go ahead and do it that way. But in my case, you can see it's already come up with uh, some options, which uh, shows me that it's already installed. And the reason for that is I've actually installed Xcode, which is Apple's development tool, and that actually installs Git automatically. So if you've got a similar screen to mine here, you wouldn't actually need to proceed because uh, that would mean that uh, Git's already installed. But if you get something like, uh, let me just clear the screen here, something like that. Uh, I've typed in Git 2 there, but if you typed in Git and got command not found, that would be an indication that Git wasn't installed. And uh, as I mentioned, if you get a command and it comes up and says Git not installed, do you want to install? You can do it that way if you like, but uh, I'm going to show you the alternate way, which is using the official site to, uh, from Git. So we're going to type exit there and close that down. And we want to go to the website uh, git-scm.com, which is the site uh, official site for Git. Then we want to come over here to click on our downloads. Now, most likely this will auto detect depending on your operating system. And it may or may not automatically detect uh, what uh, operating system you run and start downloading. In my case, it didn't. So I'm going to click over here to Mac OS X. And we should now find that the download will start by itself. And if it doesn't start, just come over here and click on manually to download it. Okay, I'm going to save it. In the bottom left hand corner, you can see it was quite a quick download because it's actually finished. So I'm going to click on the DMG file. Now you may need to navigate to the folder where you downloaded it if you can't see this uh, file that was downloaded on your browser like I can. So you can click on that at any event or double click it if you need to navigate to that folder to start the uh, Git installer. And I'm just going to double click here to start the installer. Click on continue. Click on install. Type in my password. And click on close. And I'm going to click on if that comes up if you're running uh, Mac OS Sierra, it will actually automatically put the uh, installer into the trash when it's finished. So I'm going to click on OK or click on move to trash for that. And I can close this down at that point. And we're actually done with the installation. So I can press Command Space again and type TRM or select it because it's defaulting on my screen anyway. And I could type in which Git, which uh, points to the location where Git's installed. Then I could type git version, and you can see that uh, we've got git version 2.1.0 installed. So at this point, uh, git has been installed successfully on your Mac, and uh, you can now skip the next video, and I'll see you in the video after that one.